Yo, what's up everybody? This is your boy Canadian back with another video. Today we are going to talk about Linsanity, Jeremy Lin. Since it is the 10 year anniversary of Linsanity, I am going to show you guys some of the pieces I have in my collection that Jeremy has worn throughout his career. Some of the sneakers, some of the jerseys I have, and we'll talk about some of the stories related to Jeremy Lin. So if you are interested in this kind of video, please stick around and we'll be right back. <music> If you don't know who Jeremy Lin is or what Linsanity is, let me tell you. Jeremy Lin is an American basketball player of Chinese and Taiwanese descent. He started playing the NBA in the 2010s. And Linsanity happened when Jeremy Lin played some of his best games in his career with the New York Knicks back in 2012. During the 2012 season when he was with the New York Knicks, what, from what it seemed to be his last game, he was subbed in and he went off, scoring 25 points that game. After that game, he went on a 26 game streak where he scored a lot of points and helped the team win many, many games. During those 26 games of high scoring from Jeremy Lin, everyone was cheering for him because he was the greatest underdog story that the NBA has had in a very long time. I remember being glued to the TV watching him every night that he was playing like he was a family member. I was cheering for him like one as well. It was one of the best moments in NBA history for me. And watching him was one of the most exciting times in my life. Ever since then, I have been a very big Jeremy Lin fan and has collected many pairs of sneakers and most of the jerseys he has worn over the years. But for the first part of this video, we are gonna talk about his sneakers and the ones I have in my collection. I have seven pairs of sneakers made by XTAP. It's the company that endorses Jeremy Lin. The first pair of sneakers I'm going to show you is this pair. The purple and white pair. This pair is very unique because it was made for the all-star game that Jeremy had in the CBA. On one side it has Beijing and the skyline, the coordinates on the back, right? And on the other shoe it has Guangzhou. The skyline for Guangzhou and the coordinates for Guangzhou as well. When I first saw these pairs of shoes, I fell in love with it right away. Because up to that point in my life, the two cities I lived in in China for a long period of time were Beijing and Guangzhou. So it felt like these shoes were meant to be. The second pair of shoes I'm going to show you are these Christmas edition sneakers. Right? These ones are also very interesting due to the Christmas design, the snowflakes, and the mint and red colorway. These shoes are very, very cool, right? It has the minty green colorway, right? With the red hints of color and the red laces, the candy cane back, right? And the Christmas tree on the tongue, right? And the little design here, right? The little bell on the back here. I really like these shoes because I love Christmas and it's one of my favorite holidays. So any sneakers that has the Christmas theme on it, I love to have in my collection. The third and fourth pair of sneakers I'm going to show you guys today are these blue ones, the blue ones, and these yellow ones. Both of these are based off the Beijing Duck colorway, right? Back when Jeremy Lin was playing for the Beijing Ducks for the first time in the 2020 season. Both of these shoes, right, have the Beijing character written on the side here, right? You can see from the blue pair and from the yellow pair as well, right? And it has his number, right, located on the back, right, and his logo on the front. The same with this pair as well, right? His logo on the front and his number on the back. The fifth pair of shoes I'm going to show you is this pair of shoes, right? It's the same model as the ones before, but the colorway is different. This one has the black as all black upper right with the dragon design i don't know if you can see the details right there are some dragon designs on this side and on this side as well right you can see it's stitched onto the upper of the shoe and the next pair of sneakers we're going to take a look at are these red ones right these were made for chinese new years and again same model with the uh, jeremy lin logo on the side in gold embroidery right uh yeah stitched onto the upper right 
on the toe here, you can see some of the designs, right? It has different written characters of Fu, right? Fu means luck in Chinese. And it's mostly red with hints of gold on each side of the shoe. So Chinese New Year's is one of the most popular holidays and important holidays in Chinese culture, right? And being from a Chinese background, I love these pair of Chinese New Year releases, right? And they really bring the Chinese New Year theme onto the shoe. Again, with the gold, the fu, and the whole red colorway. Last but not least, we have his second signature sneaker. Or the first official one, depending on how you look at it. Because the one I showed the ones I showed you before had already been designed prior to Jay Lin signing with the company, right? So once he signed on, they just added his designs to it. So this pair of sneakers is also very unique, right? It has a Chinese painterly theme to it, right? The upper uh, is with the branches, right? Just like a Chinese painting with the bird. I'm not sure what bird this is. If anybody knows, please leave it in the comments and tell me, right? And the stamp, right, on the back of the shoe, on the uh, heel, right? And his signature on the bottom of the shoe as well. So the golden yellow colorway for the sneaker, right, really makes it stand out, right? And the designs and the overall feel to it pays homage to the Chinese culture. Again, with the Chinese theme painting of branches and the bird, right, and the little embroidery design on the side as well, right, and the stamp I showed you before on the heel, right, really pays homage to the Chinese culture. Now, let's talk jerseys. I have nine pieces of Jeremy Lin jerseys from all the NBA teams he has been on and the Beijing Ducks, which is where he is now and where he was in 2020. All the jerseys I have are in the back, as you can see, and we will talk about all these jerseys and his career. If you are a Jeremy Lin fan, then you should know which team he started his NBA career with, right? It was the Golden State Warriors, right? During the 2010 to 2011 season, he played for the Warriors uh, and was on the roster. But he played very few minutes and spending most of his time down in the D-League team. He was only on the Warriors for one season. And again, playing very few minutes, almost none, right? And spending most of the season in the D-League, now called the G-League, the Santa Cruz Warriors. After his time with the Warriors, right, Lin signed on with the New York Knicks where in the first part of the season, he was on the edge of being cut and ending his career when his Linsanity moment happened. Linsanity happened during the 2011-2012 season with the New York Knicks. It started in February and it went on for 26 games. It was one of the most exciting times to be an NBA fan and to be a Knicks fan. Right? Watching Jeremy Lin destroy all the competition. and It was amazing to watch. Most people in other arenas even cheered for him, right? Because again, he was the greatest underdog in NBA history. After spending one year with the Knicks, he signed a huge contract with the Houston Rockets because of his tremendous performance the year prior. That first year, he almost made the All-Star team when he was with the Houston Rockets, right? He came up short behind Kobe and Chris Paul. People, a lot of people voted for him because of, of his uh, sudden fame and his popularity. After being with the Rockets for two seasons, he was traded to the LA Lakers. Right? His time with the Lakers was very short-lived, but he did have a very high scoring game during his time there, versus the Nets, where he dropped 29 points. And also, he got to be Kobe's teammate, which is a really good learning experience, in my opinion. After his one season with the Lakers, Jeremy Lin signed a two-year deal with the Charlotte Hornets. During his time with the Hornets, he actually had a really good bounce-back year, right? after scoring over 20 points per game on more than a few occasions. After that first year with the Hornets and having a bounce-back year, Jeremy Lin decided to decline his player option and sign a three-year contract with the Brooklyn Nets, which gave him a pretty good payday as well. However, his time with the Nets was filled with injuries, playing only 37 games over a span of two seasons. After his two injury-filled seasons with the Nets, 
And after the 2017-2018 season, he was traded to the Atlanta Hawks, where he played only 51 games before being waived by the team. So after being waived by the Hawks, Jeremy Lin signed a one-year deal with the Toronto Raptors, my hometown team, right, to be in the playoffs. This was the season when the Toronto Raptors won the championship, which made it all worthwhile for Jeremy Lin. And it was great to watch him win a ring. Once he won the championship with the Toronto Raptors, it made him one of the few players with Asian descent that has won an NBA championship. It was great to watch Jeremy Lin finally succeed on the biggest stage. That was probably one of his highlights in his career. And it was also one of the highlights in my life to watch my hometown team finally win an NBA championship. And having Jeremy Lin on the roster just made it even sweeter. After that championship season with the Toronto Raptors, Jeremy Lin signed on with the Beijing Ducks in the CBA. However, the season was a little weird due to COVID. The season was suspended for a few months and after the season resumed, they were eliminated from the playoffs and Jeremy Lin went back to the States. After Jeremy went back to the States, he spent the following year with the Santa Cruz Warriors, which is the G League team of the Golden State Warriors. He never officially made an NBA roster during that time, so after that season, he announced he will be going back to the Beijing Ducks. Jeremy Lin has had a very eventful career up to this point, from being almost cut by the New York Knicks, to having that in insanity moment with the New York Knicks, right? Those 26 games of just domination with everybody cheering for him everywhere he went, to winning an NBA championship with the Toronto Raptors, and now playing the CBA and with the Beijing Ducks. Like I said before, I have always been a fan of his ever since I first watched him back in 2011. He has been an inspiration for many, including myself, for fighting through all the hardship he has had in his career and playing on the biggest stages in the world. I hope one day I'll have the chance to actually meet Jeremy Lin and talk to him about his life and his amazing career. Right? That, to me, will be a great experience and something that I could learn from. So thank you very much, everybody, for listening to me talk about Jeremy Lin and his career. And for me, showing you guys some of the pieces in my collection related to Jeremy Lin. And if you enjoy content like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you like this video, please click that like button. It really helps out with my content. Thank you very much, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace! Peace.